Hey guys, so tomorrow, uh, very early hours of the morning, I set off to Belgium for my transcontinental adventure. Uh, last day at home, I just wanted to kind of run through what I take with me on these kind of trips. So this is all my luggage here that goes on the bike, and I'll quickly empty it out, and I'll show you everything I go with me. It's done. So this is my kit guide, all sprawled out, all over the floor, complete mess, but I'll just quickly run through what I have. Um, Firstly, most important things, passport, documentation, insurance, um, note from the doctor to say I'm allowed to race this. Uh, after that, I've got all my chargers here. So I use three mini chargers because you can charge them in five hours, which is really cool. I've got two Garmin's. These are for my navigation. I have a spare mobile phone in case I get into any problems and uh, can't get on Facebook on the other one. <laughs> I have um, a dog sounder. Uh, I, know, I don't know if this works actually, I've never used one, so um, this supposedly scares dogs or just makes them angrier. So we'll, we'll test that on the way. Um, also, got my tracker. This is really cool because this tells you, all you guys, where I am in Europe, what ditch I'll be sleeping in and what random river I'll be drinking from. <laughs> so um, on top of that, uh, going to a bit of tools on the bike, I keep one multi-tool. A uh, few inner tubes, pump, repair patches, few bits and bobs like that. I also keep some dry lube, which is really important to keep the chain nice and smooth because it is just such a long ride. Gorilla tape, the most handy thing you'll ever find on a bike. You can just attach everything to everything with that. Um, I actually keep a dropout. So if this was to break on my bike, this is what kind of holds the rear gearing in place. I would really struggle to find another, so I always carry one of those. I carry a couple of spare pair of brake pads because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of mountains, a lot of descending. On top of that, I carry all my wires and portable chargers, cables. Guys, like, as the next kind of electrician, I'll get shot for saying, you know, wires, not cables. <laughs> so um, I keep some gear cables as well. Uh, moving to the more personal stuff, I always keep Vaseline, I keep chamois cream and pseudocreme. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, I keep all tablets, you're probably wondering what's there, so there's paracetamol, there is uh, caffeine tablets, and there's water purification, in case I get in a real mess and have to drink some random water, it is what it is, you know. Um, on top of that I've got some kind of like, this is just to make my water taste a bit nice, which is juice, I keep a lock there as well, and uh, generally I think that's everything I take towards the bike. And obviously lighting, lighting is very important at night. Um, clothing wise, uh, this is all my clothing. So I have like a spare pair of bib shorts, a uh, pair of cycling socks, obviously I'll have another kit on me. I keep some leg warmers, I keep some spare pair of gloves as well. Two jackets, one for day, one for night. Um, this is my kit actually, I haven't shown anyone my kit yet. So it was actually gonna be black and yellow. And in the end I got <laughs> massively let down by a supplier twice, twice, which is crazy. So um, I had some made up by a local company and I decided I went for white because there's gonna be a lot of heat waves, there's gonna be a lot of problems like with temperature. So I thought I'll go white and um, these are my sponsors guys, Fat Birds, B&I, Glorious Food, and of course the Nelson Bird and Market. So please give these guys a big shout out because I wouldn't be able to do this without them. So yeah, really should have to have white kit because that's gonna keep me a bit cooler, but I'm going to be dirty as heck within about four days, so my apologies already. <laughs> um, on top of that, sleeping. Sleeping's a good one. Um, this is everything I take for sleeping. So we have a bimmy bag. That's like a waterproof sleeping bag. I have a down jacket just to keep me warm at night. And also a sleeping bag as well, just for comfort, because comfort is key in this kind of thing. With my route, it's very flat. You know, it's longer, but it's flatter, so I'm not too worried about weight. Anything here? is disposable and that's really important to say that anything I don't need here I'm happy to throw away you know this isn't stuff obviously that is very expensive I won't but this was a 15 pound Aldi sleeping bag do you know what I mean like if I'm finding it too hot and just want to bin it that's okay to bin just to save some space so this kind of is my makeshift kit but it will get shorter and shorter like, as I go along uh, one thing I want to take as well I know my first Sunday I'm really gonna struggle to find food so I actually take a carry bag to all these things. And this is probably about half a day's worth of food in here. And that's gonna keep me going, uh, say a day, half a day, just an emergency in case I can't find anything at all. So that is what 5,000 calories looks like in sweets, biscuits, Haribo, 
um, more paracetamol, more juice, um, nuts, seeds, flapjack. This is just like, it is crap. Like, <laughs> I appreciate that, but it's high calorie emergency crap. And then when I'm done with all that, this bag folds up nicely. So if I ever need to, I've got a long stretch, maybe 100, 150 miles where I can't get food. I just fill this up with water and food on top of my bottles and so forth to keep myself going. So yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, it'll probably be half as big by the time I get back, but yeah, that's my kit list.